Rap music has changed a lot over the years. It's gone from hippity hop, you don't stop rhymes, to gangster bars, to melodic auto-tune. Along the way, one skill that hasn't lost any luster though is knowing how to freestyle rap confidently. In this video, using the best techniques we've developed while coaching thousands of rappers from around the world and gaining nearly half a million subscribers on this channel, we're going to give you three simple freestyle rap tips to learn how to freestyle rap confidently so you can master one of the few aspects of learning how to rap that will not change with the times and will always impress every type of hip hop fan. So, let's get into it. Now, before we get into the steps, it's important to explain where most people mess up in freestyle. This is probably the most common reason people never get good at going off the top of the dome. And what's that mistake most rappers make when trying to learn how to freestyle rap confidently? They mess up by continuously stopping and starting. They'll get in one or two bars and then suddenly just go mute. As Denzel Washington would say, anything you practice, you'll get good at. So if you practice stopping and starting, you're only gonna get good at stopping and starting. The easiest and most direct way is to start the minute the beat drops and do not stop until the beat ends. Essentially, by not immediately rushing into your verse the second the beat drops, you're coming in at the wrong time. You're actually training your brain to go blank. No wonder it's so difficult to get those bars up off the top more consistently. If you'd like a more personalized approach in practicing starting your freestyle and never stopping, our freestyle course that teaches how to master the art of freestyle rap in two weeks or less provides you with daily drills and beats to begin immediately. More information on that can be found by clicking the first link in the video description. But let's demonstrate exactly what the problem is when rappers don't instantly rush into their freestyle. They say an introductory phrase like, yo, yo, or check it, uh-huh, uh-huh, for like one minute straight before actually doing the freestyle rap. It's almost like they're nervous that they're gonna immediately embarrass themselves, and so they're trying to buy time. There are two problems with this. A, they're not fooling anybody. First of all, most people, even if they're straight up nerds, have heard someone try to freestyle poorly at some point in their life. They know the clear cut signs of what buying time looks like. But when beginner rappers are buying time in the beginning by just ad-libbing, yeah, yeah, yo, it looks incompetent and they're not fooling anybody. B, the brain automatically shuts down. When new freestylers do this, their brain is only going to shut down more because as we said in the beginning, anything you practice, you'll get good at. And a new rapper is practicing with their brain to shut down before they even start. If you just wait for the beat to turn around or hit a chorus, you often lose your entire audience before they have a chance to catch your vibe. The most professional freestylers know that they have to start immediately to catch the crowd and gain fans on the spot. There are several ways that nearly 10 years of freestyle rap coaching, we've helped rappers improve their ability to learn how to freestyle rap confidently, and we'd like to share them with you now. One of the main ways to grab the crowd's attention is by only rapping about things that are relevant to them in a freestyle rap. As opposed to recorded or pre-written music, people hearing a freestyle in person are more impressed if you can weave in something around you or something relating to them, rather than just telling your whole life story. This is kind of counterintuitive. Whereas in written music, you have a lot more free space to challenge your audience with topics and ideas that they may not necessarily be thinking about or even care about. With freestyle rap, it's a more interactive live action type of rap. As an art form, people are expecting interactive subject matter and lyrical engagement from the artist. What's the best way to do this? Follow these three steps as promised. Step one, do a location based freestyle rap. A location-based freestyle rap is one where the freestyle rapper describes either the location they're rapping in or the city and state that they're from. Let's break down each one. If you're at a house party during a freestyle rap, you can make sure to reference whose house it is, what the vibe is like, and things like that. Anything that is relevant to the current location will impress the audience that you're going off the top about something they know very well. 
where they're at. The house party example is really useful because often in these scenarios, it will be hosted by a particular person who would love to hear somebody rap about them. That's a total ego boost that can't be denied. Therefore, practice on your own visualizing common immediate locations you'll likely freestyle in, house parties, street corners, malls, etc. The other common way to do this is to reference the city, state, or even country the listener or rapper is from. For example, freestyling in a park on vacation in London, if you can weave in a reference to the fact that you're an American visiting across the pond, or if you can say, I always rep for the West Side if you're a California native rapper going off the top at a street corner in New York City, it will demonstrate a level of lyrical presence that people who don't know how to freestyle rap confidently simply can't reproduce. Therefore, utilize the locations both near and far that are related to you to help pull people into your flows off of the top. Step two, do a people-based freestyle rap. Much like using locations relevant to this listener and going off of the top, understand the reality that part of the reason people like freestyles is because it's like a free rap written about them. Whereas a recorded song is likely going to be about more heavy thoughtful topics because the rapper is taking the time to write it and choosing the beat, recording, etc. The value of a freestyle rap is in how immediate and relevant it is to the person standing in front of the rapper. If you're nervous about rapping in front of people, however, that will be a big issue. We'll also include a free video course on how to rap confidently in front of people in the second link in the video description. In any case, if I'm in front of someone and about to start freestyle rapping, I'm looking for people-based freestyle rhymes. I'm also going to be looking for rhymes and messages related to the people at that event or the cipher I'm rhyming in. So, if my homie who's watching the freestyle rap has a girl he brought with them, I might throw in a bar or two about their relationship and how dope it is. I'm going to pepper in references to their attire. I might even include a little made up or real story about them, which is step number three. Step three, do a story based freestyle rap. If I'm really at a loss for what to freestyle rap about, I'll often just tell a story about what happened in my day or something that happened with me and someone listening. I learned this from a good friend of mine I used to freestyle with. He wasn't your typical rapper by any stretch. He had boatloads of cash probably from a trust fund. He sold insurance on top of his inheritance money and for his age was more wealthy than anyone I'd ever met under the age of 25. But he was a huge Wu-Tang fan and really loved to go off the top. Now what made his freestyle rap confidence secrets interesting was that he would consistently tell stories through his flow. Often those stories would relate to something that him and I had gone through that day. So if we had just smoked out, gotten some food and then decided to start going off the top, he would describe what we were smoking on, the food spot we ate at, what the attendant looked like, what the weather on the walk back was like, and so on. This helped to keep the freestyle rap relevant, but also made me as a listener feel engaged and become even more of a fan of his, even though I was the one rapping with him. Conclusion. So as a review, let's look at the main concepts of this video. Most people mess up by taking too long to start. Too many yeah, yeah, yo, yo moments will hurt your freestyle rap confidence. You're not fooling anybody. Most people have heard of freestyle. They know the difference between a pro and an amateur when they hear one. Use locations, people-based rhymes, and relevant stories if your mind goes blank. Use the things around you to make people instantly take you seriously. Freestyle rap confidence comes through not letting your brain shut down. Anything you practice, you'll get good at. So practice forcing your brain to freestyle rap rather than shut down. Now. We want to see you in the comments. What is the number one reason you want to learn how to freestyle rap? What inspires you to want to go off the top rather than just writing and recording written rhymes? Let us know. And of course, if you want to start things a bit more seriously starting now, visit the video description box for more information on how to freestyle rap confidently. Peace out.